<laughs> okay. We're in, we're in Columbus, Ohio for Stoll Drag. It, it's a pretty big air show, it, it, so it's a little bit different than how we've done it in the past. And it's working out pretty good, I think. And it sounds like the air bosses and stuff are really liking us and liking how we do things, so it be something that will continue. What, what made it happen is everybody decided that we're fine doing it on pavement. That opened up a lot new places that we can do it. We're doing a little different format. We're trying it out anyway. And uh, basically, it's more on your time. You're still racing, we're still racing side by side and people get paired up as closely as possible to someone that's their speed. So it, it's, you still feel like you're racing them just the same. But everybody gets to make more runs. Nobody gets knocked out early in, like in the traditional bracket racing. You know, the slower guys get to race once or twice and they're done. And this format here, everybody gets to make like eight to 10 races. So I think it's gonna work out. I think everybody's gonna like it. That was a little sketch going through the, through the uh... Did you guys get sideways? <laughs> Two wheels, wow. There's a ditch over there with all that water in it after the rains yeah, last night. We, we awesome. Got new mud flaps put on. Oh yeah? Oh, those look good. Oh, nice. I mean, I'm not saying you two are the pretty boys of Stoll. I'm just saying you guys look really nice and so do your planes. That's all I'm saying. If you like watching our videos, we appreciate you clicking the like button and subscribing to it. It, it helps us out. And Patreon, is, if you're, you know, the main thing we do is sell these Highlander kits. So we do have some Patreon videos for build videos. That, that's mostly the building side of things. But yeah, if you'd like to get one of these Highlanders, that's a helpful thing for when you go to building it, uh, subscribing to our Patreon channel. My Highlander, with all of these products on it, is working awesome. It really is. We're, we're still doing a little tuning. It's still new. I mean, it's a new airplane. We're getting it dialed in. It's working really good. I, I really like it. This prop, this uh, big 92-inch NR prop on this three-cylinder works awesome. My, my Mark and Genio brakes are they're stopping me good. Yeah, everything's working good. I'm real happy with it. I'm just still kind of learning a little bit how it flies. It's a little different than my other one. Okay, I'm back. What do you want me to do? Brake change? Uh, leave me for a moment. This is an S car pit stop really here. Up slack for you calling. Here, just get on my shoulders. Here, back up here a little How's bit. How's everybody doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing great now. Yeah. <laughs> That's how my is. Oh, it doesn't matter to me if it's pavement or dirt. I'm actually kind of enjoying not having all the dirt blowing around. Me it's, too. Yeah, that part's nice. I really don't care. If I do it on pavement or dirt, it doesn't matter to me. I don't think at all. Of course, I've been wearing my flying eyes out here. Got my sunglasses on them and everything. They're, they really do like them. They just, they're so comfortable under my helmet. They're light. I've never liked glasses. I don't, I mean, who likes glasses? But if you got to wear glasses, you might as well have some really comfy ones that work really well, so, and these do. Hello, Sarah. Hello, you ready? How are you? Good, how are you? I couldn't be better if I tried. Perfect day, flying with my best friends. Watching this. Watching this. Yeah. I'm gonna go up and join them. Yeah, go do it. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll get up there in a second. I'll just run up there and get off his wing. Oh, he won't. Can... He won't mind. <laughs> he won't mind. All right, have fun. All right, thank you. <laughs> Here they all are staged, ready to go. We're all getting ready to go. 
Josh picked me up and we were mobbing through the mud in front of the crowd line. Thank you. Garen. So this is a little different than a lot of our shows because we're dealing with... We had a helicopter fly around, F-35, C-30. We keep having to pause for big air show stuff, which isn't usual, but we're getting through it. <laughs> I think Michael's got this one. We gave him like 15 second head start or something like that. All right, so we're gonna do a chase down on this one if you guys are okay with that. Yeah. You okay with that? It's gonna seem like that jet truck coming to get you. I know. All right, so I'm gonna launch you. You're gonna go 15 seconds, four seconds later, I'll, I'll start you on the five. Timers, are you ready? Michael, go in, are you ready? On the arm drop. Three, two, one, see ya! Five, four, three, two, one, see ya! That was awesome. Clear to taxi. Steve got him by about a second and a half. Ah! That was all kinds of fun. Give Michael a 15 second head start. We wound up really close. I just didn't by much. I was just kind of guessing at 15 seconds, but it got to be a pretty good, pretty good amount of a head start. Man, it's like it's almost down clear to the other end by that time. That was fun. So now we're holding for a KC-135 doing a low pass. This is a very unusual situation. Let me film it. There it is. Oh, there it is. Michael, this is your last race. You guys want to do another chase down or you want to do straight up? Yeah, chase down is fun if it's going deep. You good with that? Whatever. Okay, Roger's saying 17 seconds. The same as before, I'll send you, and then Steve, I'll give you a countdown from five. 
We're cleared up course. Cleared down the course. Michael, are you ready? On the arm drop. Three, two, one. See ya. Five, four, three, two, one. See ya. by a half a second. That was beautiful, fellas. Clear to taxi, Steve, follow. Michael, I know, Michael, you're taxiing back to the pits, I believe. Yeah, that was super fun. Thanks for everything, you guys. Nice race of Michael. Definitely most approved. Appreciate it, boys. And girls. Have fun in your go-fast plane this afternoon. You got it. Loop-de-loop. Loop-de-loop, -loop. Loop Yeah, this airplane's flying fantastic. Um, I'm kind of still getting the hang of it. I'm making little adjustments here and there. One adjustment I still need to make is I need to set it down a little softer on this pavement. The way I'm landing it on grass or dirt would be fine, but uh, I'm hitting it. I'm hitting down a little harder than I like to hit on pavement. But overall, I love doing stole drag. In Every part on this plane, uh, being the fastest plane in Seoul, he sells to the public. He manufactures these parts and makes them available for everybody else because he wants to encourage other people to come do what he does. He's looking for more competitors, more people to fly against him because he wants to promote the sport in that way. As he launches off the line is 300 horsepower Yamaha Turbo Charger. I'm Josh Richling, Wild West Aircraft, uh, here with Steve Henry. Just uh, finished up our, let's see, national, what are we calling this? The Columbus Cup. Columbus yeah, Cup, yeah. Columbus Cup, Columbus, Ohio. First time doing uh, Stole Drag on Pavement, which was totally awesome. Got to announce the event while Steve was out there racing, so that was cool. Got to talk a little, about, a little bit about him, a lot about Bruce Graham, but a little bit about Steve Henry as well. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it was a great event. There's so many fans here. 36,000 tickets were sold already. Wow. The place is packed. Oh,